Police have historically operated with little oversight. Those victimized knew if they spoke out, especially if they were alone, that they may be subjected to continued harassment and brutality. But the sugarcoating that protects those criminals and their institutionalized violence is dissolving. Cameras, not those worn by police, but those in the hands of those they target, are changing the equation, giving a voice to those so long silenced. Filming police acts as a transparency maximizing tool to those who recognize the value in focusing attention on predatory actors. Criminals wearing badges continue to be granted impunity by their friends in the injustice system. That's not surprising, and it only reinforces the fact that efforts to change an inherently flawed system are fruitless. Infinitely more powerful and paradigm shifting is a fact that millions of us understand why it's important to film the police. Feelings of isolation and fear are being replaced by interconnectedness and empowerment as more of us internalize the fact that badges don't grant extra rights. Why did you start filming the police? What have you learned? What message do you have for others so that they too arm themselves with a camera? Submit a video up to one minute in length on why I film the police. The top three winners will each receive $50 in Bitcoin, two ounces of cop block quarters, and t-shirts from cop block, police the police, and we cop watch. Visit copblock.org slash why I film the police for contest rules and to submit your video entry. The deadline is December 31st, 2014 at midnight Eastern time. Thanks, Thanks and good and luck. Good luck.